What's up, friendos? It's me, it's me, it's Exotic MTG, and welcome to part one of two of our box topper only special. That's right. All you're going to see are box toppers. That means that uh, in part one, you'll get 10 box toppers, and in part two, you'll get 10 more. So we'll have 20 box toppers open for you guys. Hopefully, by the time this is up on YouTube, that means our intro is also in here. But because of some pretty crappy circumstances here in Iowa. We have very bad cell service, which means it's hard to get the videos onto my computer, which means that editing is a problem. So we're gonna go ahead and crack these open. And rather than crack them, I'm going to just snip the tops off them because I never, you never know what can be, can foils be in here? That, now I'm curious, can foils be in here? because I'm not sure if they can or not. Did I not open that far enough? Oh, I did, good. Okay, box topper pack number one, part one. Oh man, maybe cutting it isn't gonna be a, a, possible, a possibility. Let's see here. Okay, well, I already saw one. We got Urza's Mine first. And it is beautiful. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a Blood Moon now. Very nice. Blood Moon, matter of fact, one of my auctions, I had a box topper on there to to do, and uh, or a box uh, topper pack, and a Blood Moon was one of the cards that was in there. So that's our first one. Got an Urza's Mine and a Blood Moon. So let's make sure that these cards don't get cut. Got to be super extra careful. I don't have any sleeves with me because of all the damage. I'm not even at my own house because, well, it's a problem. Academy Ruins. I don't know if you guys have even seen, National News hasn't even covered how bad the Midwest is right now. And that's actually pretty frustrating. Academy Runes, all right. Is it Runes or Ruins? I don't know, it depends on where you're from, I guess. Ooh, Sword of Body and Mind, a beautiful mythic, our first mythic of the box toppers. Not bad at all. So this one is definitely the best thus far. Put that right there. Go for another one here. Not even using my normal tripod. But you know what? Does it really matter? I mean, they're box topper packs, man. They're box topper packs. All right. I don't want to spoil it like we have the last few. Meddling Mage. We need ourselves a big hit here. It's an Urza's Tower, not a big hit. We got two of the Urzas. So let's go for the next one. We don't want to fail here. We need a Jace the Mind Sculptor. We need a Karn. We need something crazy. Something crazy. Like uh, Mana Crypt would be nice. Mana Crypt would be nice. Ooh, a Thought Seize. We'll take it. We'll take it. And a Chrome Mox. Nice, another Mythic. This is my new favorite pack. Um, very nice. I don't know the value of any of these cards though. I will warn you there. I do not know the value of any of these cards. So just bear with me on, on what my favorite is. Might not be the most expensive. So, so there's that to be aware of too. All right. All right, here we go. Last chance for greatness. Ooh, Noble High Arc. Love this card. Love it. Beautiful, love the alternate art. Very nice. Oh, yes. Yeah, baby, look at that. We got ourselves a Jace the Mind Sculptor. There is our best pack. Saving the best for last. Beautiful hit. That is now the best of the five. So here are our first 10 box toppers. I'll get them on the playmat, nice and neat. This is sweet. 
sweet, sweet. Uh, and then part two, we'll have the same amount of box toppers for you. Hopefully we can get some solid hits. There were some solid hits in this one for sure. Got two of the Urza lands and Thoughtseize is pretty sweet. Probably my favorite rare of the bunch. Jace the Mind Sculptor, obviously the best mythic along with Sword of Body and Mind and Chrome Mox was the other mythic. So stay tuned. We'll open up five more box toppers in part two. Thanks for being here. Exotic MTG, out. Peace.